as you enter the chamber, an arrow clatters at your feet. You look up to see massive stone pillars, a looming sixty feet at least. An old man cackles down at you, two skeletal archers flank. It is then you look down to notice a glowing red glyph carved into the stone. The old man mutters dark incantations as shadows erupt from the glyph. A monstrous claw demon bursts out of it and begins to advance. All hope could be lost. You look to your friends as they motion to the two ladders on either side of the room. You may be able to get up there and stop him. Only time will tell. Hello friends, and welcome back to the Hall of Craft. I'm Alistair Hall, and today I want to talk to you about height. How do we achieve it on our board? It's a tricky business because you want things to be nice and vertical, but you want to be able to see down on the board. Sometimes we just scrap it all together and we have implied walls or negative space. But how do you do that when you want things to be above other things? It's a challenge. Today I want to help fix that problem with these pillars with platforms at the top. A simple concept, but super effective. So, I'm gonna show you how to make these today. Let's just jump right into it. So we're starting with foam core. We're gonna take our metal triangle and start squaring out these pieces. So that's the top there. It's a seven by four inch platform. And then we're gonna do four one inch by six inch rectangles for the pillar. Next, we're gonna draw on the base so we need a two inch by two inch square, and then an inch and three quarters by an inch and three quarters square. So after we have those all drawn on, we gotta cut them out. Luckily for me, I got this good old kitchen knife. Cuts them out no problem. So I want to stabilize the base a little bit more, so I'm going to trace the 2 inch by 2 inch square and add a couple feet to the sides to support the weight of the platform. Those are 1 inch by 1 inch squares. And we'll cut those out with my handy kitchen knife. Here's a test fit of what it's all gonna look like. Okay, so now we gotta weigh this down a little bit. So we're gonna take a washer and trace that on. So I'm gonna use this Kershaw knife sharpener to make sure that my X-Acto blade is nice and sharp for this cut. I'm gonna include a link to that on Amazon. I bought it a long time ago and it's, uh, it's a great tool. So just gonna cut out that circle, but not all the way through. Peel off the top layer, and then pick out all the foam. Making sure to leave that bottom layer of paper. Test fit the washer, perfect. So I'm just gonna fill that crevice with hot glue and put the washer back in. Try not to burn yourself. I definitely burn myself. Then we're gonna cover the top in hot glue and assemble the rest of the base. There we go. So now that the base is done, we need to make the pillar. So I'm gonna take a couple pins and pin two of our one inch by six inch rectangles together to make sure we have a perfect right angle. 
and then I'm going to fill that trough with glue. And I'm going to do the exact same thing with the other two rectangles. And then once we have both, we got to put them together. Something like that. So I'll just draw two lines of hot glue on the connecting points and then hold them together. Make sure it's straight on both sides. Then I'm just going to find the center of the platform and trace on where the pillar is going to connect. And glue it on with more hot glue. And then I'm going to add another bead around the edge to make sure it's very connected. Now I'm just going to do the exact same thing for the base. Put a bead of hot glue and then trace around the side. We have one final step before painting. I'm just going to cut out some more one inch by five and three quarter inch sheets out of this chipboard. And I'm going to stick them on the sides in the middle. This is going to give a really nice piece of detail once it's all painted. So after those are all dry, we're going to give this the Black Magic Base Coat. If you haven't seen Jeremy's video on the Black Magic Base Coat, I'll link it in the description over at Black Magic Craft. This is a mixture of black paint and Mod Podge. It gives the uh, piece a nice coat, seals everything together, and it takes paint amazingly. You're going to want to do this to most of your terrain pieces. So after that's all dry, we're going to sponge coat it to make it look like stone because the piece doesn't have a lot of texture. So I'm going to cut up my sponge to give it a regular shape and then I'm going to start with a dark graphite gray. I'm just going to coat the sponge in that and dab all over it. Perfect. So give that a bit to dry and then we're going to come back with a light gray this time. I'm going to use less paint and I'm going to press more softly. So once that's dry, we're going to come back one last time with a suede. And I'm going to use even less paint and press even softer this time. Just getting the highlights, basically. This gives it a really organic look, so it's not just a blue-gray on your table. The next step is to add a grid. Normally I would cut this in, but because I don't want to damage the structural integrity of this piece, I'm just going to draw it on. So I'm going to draw a one inch by one inch grid. And that's it. That's how I make vertical pillars with platforms. If you were wondering how I made the bases, you can check out my first video, how to make cork bases. I'll uh, link that somewhere over here. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like this, I would love to have you join the Hall of Craft and hit that subscribe button. All right guys, I'll see you next time.